Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Those of you on TikTok, YouTube, and Facebook, I'm T. Clay, and we're in Deuteronomy. Walk with me through Deuteronomy, but first let's pray. Oh, most holy, I am that I am. We thank you for all that you've done. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your favor. We thank you for subduing our enemies. We thank you for causing us to rise above those that say we can't rise. We thank you for causing us to say that says we can't do it, but we do it anyway. Yes, we give you the glory and the praise. Yes, yes, yes. We have enemies on our left and right in the front and in the back. Yes, we're surrounded, oh, most holy one of the Bantu. We thank you for all that you've done, but we ask you. Oh, give us that favor. Give us that favor that we might have that confidence in you. We're not talking about faith. We're talking about confidence, confidence in your abilities, confidence in that what you say is true. Yes, the English came up with that old degradatory word of faith. There's no such thing. But the fact is, having confidence in the most high, even Tata and Zambi. Yes, even Sanini Nanini. And we thank you for all those things. Yes that we might obtain favor from you through our confidence in you. And we thank you for all things, yes. Uh, yes, we're in Deuteronomy, the 13th chapter of Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy chapter 13. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, those of you on TikTok, YouTube, and Facebook platforms. Yes, and we're gonna start with verse one. He said, if there arise among you a prophet or a dreamer of dreams, Take note. And giveth you a sign or a wonder. No, you're going to see all kind of people that's going to do all kind of stuff. And some of them are very deceitful. Whether they be, you know, using witchcraft or what they who do voodoo or, or, or Western witchcraft or African witchcraft or or Spanish witchcraft. Witchcraft is witchcraft, period. And the sign of one to come to pass thereof, he may speak unto thee. Let us go after other gods, which thou hast not known, or let us serve them. In other words, if it, what they do cause you to serve or go after the gods that they say this God done this, or your God is unreal because he can't do this, then he says this, thou shalt not hearken unto the words of that prophet. Or that dream of dreams for that I am your God proveth you. In other words, he's, he's allowing him, he's allowing this devil to have power to deceive you. He want to prove you to know whether you love the I am. Ta ta and zombie, even Sanini Nainini, your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Yes, you're going to see signs and wonders. You're going to see things in the earth, things in the sky. But that doesn't mean anything. God's testing you. And if you are already backwards, you're going to be backwards even more. He already said this. And you shall walk after the I am your God and fear him and keep his commandments and obey his voice. And you shall serve him and cleave unto him. And that prophet or that dream of dreams shall be put to death is what he says. Put him to death because he has spoken to turn you away from the I am your God, which brought you out of the land of Egypt. In other words, in this day and time, Get away from them. Move. Go. Have nothing to do with them. And because he has spoken to turn you away from the Lord, even the I am your God, which brought you out of the land of Egypt, redeemed you out of the house of bondage, and to thrust thee out the way which the I am commanded you to walk in, so that you put the evil away from the midst of you. In other words, it's, it's, it's trying to cause you to have a lust, to lust, to desire this God because you think that this God is better than your God. <laughs> this is that you think this way is better than his way. God's way is the way of holiness. God's way is the way of fairness. God is the way of way that's clean. Even the law of Tata and Zambi. Yes. Now. If thy brother or son or thy mother or thy daughter or thy wife or thy bosom or thy friend which is in thy soul entice thee secretly, saying, Let's go serve other gods which thou hast not known, nor thy fathers, namely the gods of the people which are around about you, nigh thee or far from off thee, from the end of the earth, even unto the end of the earth. Now this spirit of Egyptology, this, this Egyptian stuff, it's chasing you. 
It has chased many. They have gotten this symbol where it represents one is a woman's womb and the other one is a man's, put it plainly, penis. And it's made in a circle. It's made in a circle with a thing going up it, and then it's got the, uh, yeah, you running after that. We already know what that is. It's symbolic of sex. That's all it is. Namely, thou shalt not consent unto him, nor hearken unto him, neither shall I pity him, neither shalt thou spare, neither shalt thou concede, seal him. But thou shalt surely kill him. Thy hand shall be first upon him to put him to death afterward the hand of the people. In other words, God is saying, you need to put them away. Even Jude in your New Testament, he said these people feast with you. They, 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 they're in your congregation. They're there and they, they, got, they got all kind of uh, wives tales and soothsayings and all kind of things they do. That they, you know, like uh, some in some putting their menstrual blood in a man's food to make him love them. Put them away from you. Get them away. That's not God. That's the, that's the enemy. That's the spirit that is trying to draw you from God. And thou shall stone him with stones that he die. We can't do that now. But when God's kingdom come back, that will not even be heard of because the sentence of that is death. To thrust thee away from the I am thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt and from the house of bondage. And all Israel shall hear and fear and do no more any such wickedness as this among you. In other words, the demons won't have no, no, no precedence. When a man comes to you talking about here, wear this cross. This cross will protect you. Take this holy water. This holy water. There's only one holy water. That's the water that God got from. That's the water of the temple. According to the law of the Levites. See, they, they've, they've gone so many ways. There's no Mary. There's, there's nothing. There's only God's law. There's only God's law. There is no virgin birth. There's nothing like that. If you really, really, really read that scripture, you're going to find out. He says, thou children, later on in the chapter, you're going to see the whole thought. That my children were given to me as a sign. It wasn't Jesus. Come on here. You ain't right. You've been deceived. Your eyes are darkened and you don't want, some of you don't want to see because you're having a good time in all your feelings. You find out that Eve and Christianity is nothing but feelings. Now the law, we don't go by feelings. We go by facts. We go by what thus saith the or I am, what the Most High has said. He said, and certain men of the children of Belar are gone out from among you and have withdrawn the inhabitants of their city. In verse 13, saying, let us go and serve other gods which ye have not known. Then thou shalt inquire and make search and act diligently. And behold, if it be true, the thing certain, such an abomination is wrought among you. Let us go serve, uh, bow down to this image of Isis. Let us go bow down to this image of Mary. Let us go bow down to this image of uh, Egyptian gods and all kind of gods that were before. They might be repackaged in a Greek name or they might be repackaged in some other name in some other pagan society. But still, they're gods, they're devils who have packaged themselves to draw the people away from the Most High. Now, he says, And thou shalt surely smite the inhabitants of thy city with the edge of the sword, destroying it utterly, as if that city is in Israel. All that is therein and the cattle thereof with the edge of the sword. Thou shalt gather all the spoil of it in the midst of the street thereof and shall burn with fire the city of all the spoil. Therefore, where, where you should be burning them crosses, them wooden stakes, them images of Mary, those images of Jesus. You should be burning them. I don't care whether he's black Jesus, white Jesus, who Jesus, do Jesus. Burn it. For the Lord thy God, it shall be in heat forever, and it shall not be built again. And thou shalt cleave nothing of the cursed thing to thy hand, that the I am thy God may turn thee from the fierceness of his anger, and show thee mercy, and have compassion upon thee, and multiply thee as he has sworn to thy fathers. And when thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord, I am thy God, to keep all his commandments, which I command this, this, this day, to do that which is right in the sight of the I am thy God. And this is written. And you 
do it. Peace.